Hi, this is your introduction to theater history. I want to try and make it as succinct as I can because I know we don't have a lot of time left in the semester and I don't want to make you sit for hours and hours and hours in front of videos, although there is going to be some of that. But I'd like to introduce this to you in my own way to try and shorten the amount of time it takes to convey the information. So you know already that theater in its most basic form is simply telling a story. We've said that over and over and over and over again. Well, you have your own stories to tell. And so the question I want to pose to you is, why is it that we tell stories? Why is storytelling something that we enjoy? Why do we like to tell the stories? Why do we like to hear the stories? Why do we like to repeat the stories? It's intrinsic in who we are as human beings. Well, we could say that there were about 10 or so basic purposes, the strongest purposes for storytelling. We tell stories to entertain, to educate, to express ourselves, to explore ideas, to enlighten, to inform. We use stories to convey historical records. We use stories to talk about myth and legend, and we use stories to try to persuade. We have been telling stories like this since the beginning of mankind. The very first storytellers have been in existence since the very first people. And whether or not you think that there was language involved in storytelling, we have evidence um, on cave paintings that um, there were dances that were done back in the earliest time of man. Now storytelling can be done in a lot of different forms and we'll talk in this about theatrical forms. The theatrical forms that we're talking about include dance and sometimes they can even include things like painting and music and anything that conveys a message that entertains enlightens, educates, expresses, explores, informs, offers historical record, talks about myth, explains religion, and persuades. Again, 10 purposes of theater. 